small white rose floats over darkness. The rose is in full blossom, almost blown, and crowned by a pale fire rising from its petals like mist. The effect is arresting, almost hallucinatory, but this is not an image that is merely unusual, a pretty flower on fire. Instead, the painting holds us in abeyance. We enjoy both what we can see and what escapes us. We have the sense that this is not the odd passing moment, but a steady state, something more than physical, that is burning with something more than fire. Weinman has long been recognized for her representational paintings and figurative studies. However, we can't really understand what she is doing as a painter without considering her life of faith. The body of her work for 30 years reflects an evolving relationship with the divine based partly on her life experiences and partly through prayer and study. The result is a career where, as she puts it, her paintings have influenced her faith even as her faith has helped change the scope and direction of her painting. Beauty took a beating in 20th century art, but we're seeing a comeback of the beautiful in the work of painters like Weinman, who acknowledge beauty as a central even essential aspect of their art. She says, beauty is love in physical form. I'm not interested in illustration anymore. I believe now that art and the beautiful in art can create an experience for the viewer and that experience can be transformational. This view is echoed by critics such as Peter Sheldahl. In his essay, Notes on Beauty, he writes, An experience of beauty may be intense, leaving a permanent impression, or quite mild and soon all but forgotten. But it always resembles a conversion experience, the mind's joyful capitulation to a recovered or new belief. The merely attractive, pretty, glamorous, and merely pleasing, lovely, delectable, these are not beauty because they lack the element of belief and the feeling of awe that announces it. Certainly Weinman has succeeded in avoiding what is merely attractive or pleasing. In the Rose Fire paintings, she uses darkness as a major part of the painting similar to the way that Japanese and Chinese painters have used the emptiness of white space to complete their compositions. At the same time, this darkness points us to the light. She says, I feel that the reason we keep certain paintings, calling them masterpieces, is that they enact an archetypal drama, a healing for the viewer. So this is why artists need to aim high. This is our gift to others, this healing. That is my hope. Music